probably trying hey, to do what's it. up, Jeff? <laughs> hey, say hello to uh, my YouTube uh, audience here and uh, the reselling community, of which you are a part of, actually. Just, uh, you know, not on YouTube yet until now, right? Thank you. Yeah, making yes. your debut here. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow, my gosh. Let's take a look at what this is just, oh, my gosh. Look at this stuff. This is just one unit. This is just one unit. Oh, let me get a broader view here. Wow. Now I see comic books in the BCW boxes there. And let's take a look. There's more there. I knew there'd be comic books here. See, oh my gosh. Jeff, how long did it take you to accumulate all this stuff? Look how far back it goes. How big is this unit? This is actually two units. So yeah. Put the wall down. It's 10 by 40. 10 by 40. You took, you literally it's had to take. 10 by 20s with the wall taken down. So it's, so I can get in from either end. Oh my gosh. God, this is like something you see on American Pickers. <laughs> I, I've never been in something like this before. So I am utterly fascinated by this. And there's still more units. There's still more units. Oh my God. Wow, Jeff, I'm blown away. I am, I am blown away. I can't even believe it. I mean, it's just amazing. Okay, so let's, <laughs> let's go over and see. Where's the next one over here? Right here. All right. Right. Okay, ready. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> oh, M G. Wow. Jeff, I'm blown away. And you have a lot of amazing things. I mean, I see the, the stuff. I'll show people the stuff you bring to the, the flea market, and that's just an example. But, I mean, what, do you have it? I mean, look at this. There's, there's a model ship up here. It's organized chaos. It's organized chaos. There's planes. There's, oh my, there's toys. You're not going to kill me, are you? <laughs> no, that's not a thing to, I thing to say. After how many years of knowing me? Uh, Flintstones. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Bewitched. Chat. Wow. Civil War playset. Oh my God. And I can't even imagine. There's got to be stuff you don't even remember what's it, what's in some of these things. No, I do know what's there. Every single thing. You never come across something and say, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Light. You never come across something and say, oh, look at that. Donald Duck. You never come across something and say, oh, wow. I didn't remember I had that in there. Like something not, in the bottom box really. over there. Not really? Not really. Because it's just really? like it gets buried and put away and stuff but oh i remember it it's god. nice to find it again to see again it's like oh good oh my god well now let's just just tell the audience we've known each other for many years now we first met at the madison madison balkville um antique an show yeah the antique show which i'll be taking people to in a couple of uh months we'll be going over there but we first met at the comic booth i brought my son over there and um, I he remember was, it was funny. I don't know if you remember this, but he he brought his he had a drink with him and he put it near your comic books. And you're like, no, 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 make sure you get that away from the comic books. And I told him, yeah, get it away. <laughs> and uh, we kept in touch since. I didn't I didn't know at the time you lived in the area, and so we see each other at different uh, you know events. Like events and stuff. And you're always set up at conventions and things. And then I learned about the units, and you you're set up at the flea market now. And man. So packed and no room for anything. Wow. Overflow units, huh? Yes. Oh my gosh. So this is, so we just came from two 10 by 40s, right? 10 by 40s. Okay. And then this one you said is? Uh, five by 10. Five by 10. Okay. And this is wow. five by 15. Five by 15. Okay. And this is mostly where the flea market items. Okay, so your comic you book saw, boxes right. and stuff. These are the comic book boxes, the tables, and so forth. Oh, I got gotcha. Have been right here. Okay. Uh, there's no real easy way to get into the stuff that's behind sure. it sure. today. Sure. Um, yeah, I mean, look at this. But, there's comic boxes stacked all the way back there. My God. Now let me ask you. This is going to sound a little morbid, but do you ever have the fear that? Something's gonna happen to you. You'll wind up being incapacitated somehow, and then all of a sudden, 
someone just like you see on a TV show, someone's just going to take all this stuff at like some storage unit clear out thing. No, I don't have that. Okay. I have, uh, I have enough relatives. Oh, okay. I have enough. Uh, okay. So they know, they know to get all this stuff. Pretty much. Yes. Okay. That's good. They know, they know there's quite a bit here. There's a lot of. Yeah. Nice. They know there's value. They, they don't. Well, yes, but the, uh, probably the extent of what's here, they're not sure, really sure about. But. Okay. Now, are you the biggest collector in the family, though, or you know? Yes. Are there, you are. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Right. Since now, no, um, and that's not really. I don't know so much as a collector, as, or even the term hoarder, because everything I have, you know, it's for sale. It's right. Like, you know, I don't. It do, just, do people it just say accumulate that? A lot. Do, just, do, do people say that to you? Do you? How do you? How do you view that? Because people will ask that. They'll say, "Well, you know, is this is this a hoarding situation?" Not exactly. No. Because okay. if you look, okay, I don't have bags of garbage except for a daily. Yeah, this is the only bag that's actual garbage stuff. And, that gets, <laughs> and yes, I need to empty it, but right. you know, I don't have the. Uh, in terms of dirt there's dust right. there's no garbage there's no right. you know right it's my stuff is clean yeah. or, and i make it clean right you know clean it up when i get it and, yep. Yep. Uh, uh people there's... worry about insects and and right. and uh rodents and so right. forth in their storage units i don't there's... i don't worry about it because i don't leave food or right. things like there's that. no mcdonald's cheeseburgers or anything like that in there if i right. get if i get hungry no no, okay. no i keep those in the car okay <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's cool. Uh, wow. Now you say stuff's for sale, but you know, it, it, again, it reminds me of something like you'd see on maybe American Pickers, and you know, when they go and they meet someone, they say stuff's for sale. Sometimes they say it's for sale, but then they try to buy it, and the guy really won't let it go. But so, I mean, is it is it really if, for sale? If the or? price is a reasonable right. offer or right. whatever, yes, it's for sale. Okay. I mean, All right. it's just. There's a lot of things in here too that are also project works, uh, right. things that I work on. I do a lot of stuff. Right. I have uh, uh, woodworking, refinishing. I've got a dresser right here that I've got to get to. To it's a really nice shape. It needs. It has a lot of surface scratches and right. stuff. But I need to replace the door, uh, the drawer bottoms, and do a nice cleanup on it. Right. Uh, it's just. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of project stuff people would see in here too, the parts and things. And right. What would you say you have the most of? Is it mostly paper type of products and toys? Uh, comics, toys, but probably my biggest collection, and we might get to see some of it, okay. is my photography. Oh. Okay. You mean your own photography? Things you've photographed yourself? Or, no, or just... my... my uh, I. Put I personally love photography I, okay. since I was little. I've loved okay. comics, too, since I was little. Right. Toys. But uh, I have uh, hundreds of thousands of photography images, and uh, every type of uh, uh, photograph imaginable, um, from daguerreotypes, tintypes, right. ambrotypes. Okay. Um, it's just yeah. glass negatives, glass yep. slides. Yep. Slides. There's, yes. Yeah, I see them a lot at estate sales. Yes. And then the flea market, too. Yes. You got them there. Uh, how long have you had these units? Uh, I've been here 2008, 2009. So okay. Or 2000, I think it was at the end of 2008 is when I moved up to this one. I had another location before that, but they just... Okay. So these actually, it, it's just like grown. It's not, I haven't right. had these since 2008. Right. Like these, okay. the last two that we yep. just showed. Yep. Uh, were last fall that I okay. picked up. Then uh, these ones, uh, when uh, what happened is I had this was my main one. The, okay. Uh, there. Then the person behind me moved out, and I took that one. We took the wall down and had that. It's it's it's, I've, it's grown. Yes. Right. It's right. Not, it wasn't like instant. Sure. And how long would you say it took to fill both of these? Um. Well, they were full of as of last fall because okay. of these, but i just uh over was it been over a 10 10 year period you say to fill well to i've fill? been here for over 10 years for okay. this one and okay stuff too but but to fill all of this yeah. yes it's yeah. it's it's taken uh, yeah it took a while yeah so it's not it is as the growth went you know 
Now, for those of you who don't know, you know, Jeff and I go to, uh, or we have in the past, gone to the same estate sales together and stuff. Um, not driving together, but, you know, we're there at the same Meta, time. Yes. Yeah, and we see each other. Um, garage sales and stuff. But where's the majority of the, where, where you acquire this stuff? Um, is it from there or do you do clear, estate clear outs and stuff? All different spots, okay. all different things. That's why okay. sometimes it happens all at once, like those overflows. Uh, right. Last, those overflows came from um, a combination of auctions, uh, a house clean out, right. a state clean out that I did. Uh, and it's just uh, it's so much stuff. That's what I, it, that was actually the start, was the clean out uh, for the one, uh, the 10 by, uh, the 5 by 10. Okay. One. And I needed some place to put it. I need the items, and right. that's right. I get from auctions. I go to the state sales. Right. I go to garage sales. Auctions too. Yeah. Right. Okay. Auctions. A big thing is an auction. So, okay. Uh, for me, is yeah. like I go there. Um, in in person auctions or online I prefer, auctions. I prefer in person auctions, but I do occasionally buy online okay. uh, auctions. Do the things. Okay. Uh, I've done a couple of storage unit auctions. I actually haven't bought. A storage unit. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. Clear. You know, right. I've done cleanouts at storage auctions sure. and stuff, but it's just to the auctions. No. Okay. Just, you know, somebody wanted me to do a cleanout or whatever or something. I, I'll go check and see. So right. Okay. Usually it's a private sale. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm I'm blown away. I mean, where should I start? I don't know. That's the problem. <laughs> I tried to. I warned you. I keep. Trying to warn, and that's why <laughs> he did warn me, folks. Yes, it's, it's like this is. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you want, uh, go around to the other side, and I can open the other doors. Okay, on these. Yeah, that'll but be the other side, the other side's are really packed. Yeah, uses, a, those are project uh, items. At least here, there's a path. Right. Maybe and, maybe I'll just start here, and and just start looking around. All right, we're making some additional space here, uh, so I get some lighting. I'm going to start off in this first unit. Yeah, we got more stuff coming out. Here we go. You know, it is a good idea actually to put stuff on wheels so you can move it out easier. As opposed to just having to manually, you know, pull each piece off one by one. This is Yep. I actually haven't seen many people have a system like this, so this is a good idea. Thank you. Um, yeah, and actually you could see there. On the bottom here, this one has wheels on it. So, you know, if you're thinking of doing something with a storage unit, you're thinking of packing it tight, getting stuff with wheels, big help. So, okay, wow. Now I could walk want, back we here. We can move this cart and you can see what's behind it too. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> things fall. I was going to ask you if you had any Woody Woodpecker stuff. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Woody Woodpecker back there. Let's. Let me see this. This is amazing. This is such a cool piece. All right, we got the signature of the person who made it here, too. I'm going to put Woody Woodpecker as the first thing in the pile today because uh, I grew up watching Woody Woodpecker cartoons all the time, and I know there's someone out there who would like something like this. So I actually have a few Woody Woodpecker uh, projectors. Or not projectors, uh, films. I know of two in existence, and I have one of them. Oh, my god! I'm sure there's more. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Psychedelic promo poster. That's the original. Yes. First printing. 1967, 23 by 29. That's amazing. Look at that. Man, he's got everything in here, folks. I mean, this guy's got everything. Look at this. Mel Gibson signed. Mick Jagger signed stuff. I mean, it's just binder after binder of stuff. I mean, this is just... I mean, I, I could live in here for probably years and just keep digging and finding things. It's amazing. Jeff's doing all my work for me because he's like, you want a mini purse? So it uh, looks like a vintage mini purse. Let's see the other side. Is it double-sided? No. No? Okay. But it's got a snap closure. There's the tag. Oh, yeah. Yep. This looks like an older tag. All right. All right, that's our first pickup for Mrs. Primetime. This is all books. Okay. Wow. Uh, there's a box of uh, you know, puzzles up there, but this is all books right here. Okay. Uh, there's all kinds of all kinds of things in here from tin toys I have. Now we're getting into hidden back here is my photography collection. Okay. 
Uh, up there, obviously, are slides and carousels, projectors. Oh, there's so much stuff hidden on the shelves behind all the rest of this stuff. Going through this, <laughs> it's so much fun. It really is. It is, it's, I know. I, just... Other people would, like, you know, have a panic attack. But for me, I mean, I'm so excited. I, I, I can't even... I can't even tell you. Artwork. I have so much artwork. I have <laughs> those shelves, those racks right there are filled with artwork. I don't know if you can see them, how yeah, well you can see it. I see all the frames. It's just... Uh, and, the, yeah. and the rolls up top. See that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, all those rolls up top. Posters and stuff. Games galore. Yeah, games just, galore. A lot of vintage. Oh, uh, there's more comics on here. I always have something to do. <laughs> Plenty of work to do. So Jeff was just telling me about there being a table under here, which you can't really tell if you just quickly look, but... It goes from here <laughs> to there. That was my work table. It has become my catch-all table, as oh. you can see. I have a lot of catch-all spots. <laughs> yeah, now you can see a sign of the table here. So you know you got a lot of stuff. If You can't even really see the table anymore. I mean, gosh. Wow. All right, everyone. So basically what you have to do in a situation like this, when there's this much volume, it's similar to when you walk into an estate sale, like in the basement area uh, or a room that's just completely packed. And a lot of people will just run out of it because they're just overwhelmed is you have to just develop a search strategy. So you have to start trying to break down the unit into component parts and just searching them in a systematic way. Uh, as much as possible. So for example, you know, you could look at uh, this part right over here and you could look at this as one individual subsection, go through that and then go through the next section, sections by section. And that could obviously take a while as opposed to doing a more random approach where you're, you know, just looking around here, looking around there. But um, this is the way that will prevent you from or reduce the chances that you're going to miss stuff. So uh, plus, if you're going to make multiple visits, like this situation would definitely warrant, uh, taking a systematic approach like this is really helpful because you know, going back, all right, I went here this time and I stopped at a certain spot. So the next time I come back, this is where I have to start. If you're just going random all the time, then it's going to really be hard to make any progress. So that's what I'm going to try.